firstly. Obviously, thank you very much for, for doing Firefox and doing sound at Firebox tonight. Um, I was just wondering if there was anything in particular about Firebox that uh, prompted you to, to kind of agree to the invitation to come and do this tonight. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just lovely that there's an organisation, that there's something out there that's trying to encourage debate and discussion uh, because, you know, so often these days it's who can shout the loudest and, you know, who's got the best sound bite. So, you know, and promoting forward-thinking, interesting ideas rather than just this is our ideology, get on board or bugger off, basically. Absolutely. Well, having said that, you have some pretty fantastic sound bites tonight from your set, which is absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Thank you. Um, what I really liked about it was uh, particularly your song about female body hair, and uh, obviously it brings up a lot of questions about the beauty industry, mm -hmm. about what it teaches uh, well young and old women alike, really. Um, and I was just wondering if you could say a little bit, really, about. Uh, I mean, obviously you must have been quite fired up about it to write that song. You know, what what is it about that we've kind of gets to go? It just the whole beauty myth really gets to me. And the idea that there are going to be young girls out there now who think that, you know, their, their own private parts have to look a very specific way or else they're not going to be attractive to the opposite sex or to themselves. I find that frightening, really genuinely frightening that a generation of kids will grow up thinking that. You know, and even, I've had, I've had great reactions after gigs with that song, but I've also had guys coming up to me going, oh, it's, it's disgusting, mate. You think, and one guy actually came up to me in the toilets and said, well, that's not natural, is it? And you think, no, hang on, the point is that is natural. And surely it's about choice. That's the whole, the whole, the whole idea is the song just promotes choice. Discussion and choice and some fruity rhymes in there as well. Absolutely. Well, it's, um, I think it's always lovely to have people who are willing to get up and talk very openly and honestly about feminism because it's become uh, a bit of a dirty word, really, in, in a lot of ways. And I mean... There's quite a lot of debate within the feminist movement itself, really, about what the most pertinent issue is. I mean, is there anything in particular you think about the many kind of different uh, types of feminism, different views of what's important about women's rights are? Is there any one thing that you would pinpoint as being the most important? Do you think it's equal pay? Do you think it's the beauty industry? Do you think it's... Um... I think it's the way the media portray women and portray strong women as well. That are still... Strong women still seem to be controlled by men. Like I said to you before, the, I asked a question at a gig, are there any feminists in? And people, there was none, nothing. People were, you know, women felt uncomfortable to even say yes. And one woman came up to me after the show and genuinely said, well, I've got a Beyonce album. That's not feminism. You know, that's a packaged idea of a strong woman, but that's not what feminism really is. And I found that genuinely heartbreaking. Mm. You know, that... that that people, agree, that people would be, or feel awkward, a woman would feel awkward saying, yes, I'm a feminist. Surely we're you know, modern and enlightened enough now that whatever male-run record company that Beyonce works for, you know, that shouldn't be their ideal of what feminism is. You know, it's, it's tragic, I think. And the media, I think the media is to blame with a lot of problems in the world, and, but especially how women are portrayed in, the, you know, in, portrayed in, in print, in... Uh, on screen, you know, everything, everything about the media. It, I could write <laughs> operas about how foul, the, <laughs> how foul the treatment of ladies and women and girls and everybody is by the media. And it's just something that I think as a man you have to say, you have to, you know, you have to stand up and be counted and say something about it. It's important. I do find it, you know, genuinely shocking.